Hey guys, this is Harry from JuraFX and in this video, we will see how to create some quick 3D holograms completely inside After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. All right, let's create a new solid, just a black solid. Let me import my Superman PNG file over here. Okay, apply a tint effect. So make it black and white. So, okay, just swap the colors. We want this to be white and this to be black. And here, this thing can be pushed just a little bit like this. All right, precompose both these layers, Control Shift C, and name this Visualizer. Okay, now apply a card dance effect and check this out. See, uh, first of all, what you need to do is you need to specify the gradient layer one, which is the same layer, Visualizer. And next, go to the G position, and here under the source, make this intensity one. I will show you what's happening over here. So, layer new camera. Let's create a new camera, and and change the camera system to the comp camera. So, what this is basically doing is the card dance effect is actually splitting the visualizer layer or the Superman layer into so many cards which will be specified over here. And it is actually pushing them forward in the G-axis based on the intensity, that is the white and the black intensity or the luminosity of this image over here. So make the rows 108 because this is a 1080. I'm actually going with one tenth of all the pixels and the columns will be 192, 1920, right? 192. Okay, let's open a new viewer. And inside the visualizer, and if you apply a fractal noise effect to it, check this out. There you go. We get this nice mountains kind of a thing. In fact, we can actually change this to terrain and maybe decrease the contrast all the way down to 10. There you go. So this actually pushes the pixels or the cards in the G position based on the luminosity values, and this creates this nice, cool looking mountain kind of a pattern. And we can actually animate the evolution, like I'll click the stopwatch over here i'll click hit time times asterisk 100 maybe and this actually animates the pixels something like this nice however as you can see here there is an abrupt cutoff of our superman logo i actually don't like it in order to fix it it's actually really easy just duplicate the superman logo and to the bottom copy apply a cc radial fast blur effect there you go. Increase the amount to actually smooth the thing. And also apply a fractal noise effect for the Superman logo. Maybe copy the same fractal noise effect and apply it over here. <laughs> I know. Uh, you can actually change the blending mode to overlay. Okay, nice. So head back into the main composition. And in the main composition, you can actually decrease the multiplier, which is like 0 0.5. I'm sorry. <laughs> 0 0.5 there you go so this actually decreases the extrusion height and in the visualizer we can actually animate the opacity so go forward a few frames select the both layers and hit t to access the opacity click the opacity to actually set a keyframe and change the opacity to zero go forward a few frames maybe 12 frames and change the opacity to 100 also gives amazing right click keyframe assistant easy is in do the same thing right click keyframe assistant easy is off there you go now let's see this in the main comp there you go that's looking nice if you feel like the cards are too big you can actually increase the number of rows so let me actually multiply this by two so asterisk two and do the same thing for the columns this actually increases the number of chunks, thereby increasing the hologram look. There you go. It's actually looking a lot better than before. 
All right, in order to give some nice color to it, you can actually use the Triton effect. Triton, there you go. Apply it and change this to something like a blue color. There you go, that looks good. Uh, let me show you something real quick. Duplicate this thing and to the bottom copy, if you apply a CC radial blur effect, let's turn off this Triton effect for the bottom layer. Change this to fading zoom and give it a negative value. All right. Uh, let me isolate this to actually show you what's happening. So this is before the CC radial blur effect and after applying it, we can actually change the center to something like this. So this is to give some depth to the scene. Switch on the Triton effect and check this out. Okay, this makes it a little bit more uh, kind of like that hologram look or screen look or whatever. And if you want to give it a bit more variation, you can have fun, like change the color. There you go. This is actually giving it kind of like a creepy color. You can also change the highlights color to red. Maybe decrease the saturation a bit. There you go. And also, in, you can uh, do the same thing. The shadows or the blacks can be made red. So, there are a lot of possibilities. It's up to you what you want to do. There you go. And the good part about this is this is actually real 3D. So, you can actually move the camera. See, that's looking pretty cool actually and i feel like i can add some variation to this superman logo it's actually looking very flat at the moment simply head into the visualizer and we have the fractal noise right you can actually increase the contrast there you go this gives some nice variation maybe go with 30. Uh, you can actually change this to block to give some blocky blocky look you can do the same thing for the bottom there you go right away it got changed to some kind of like a sci-fi look there you go that's looking really nice so instead of this thing we can actually use some depth maps to actually create some 3d models for example i have a depth map over here so depth, depth maps are usually created inside 3d programs so i downloaded this online i will actually drop a link in the description so you can actually change the transfer mode to screen. So let's check this out. There you go. We get this nice three dimensional looking being. You can actually apply a cause effect to control the intensity. Tweak the black and white values to actually control the depth. There you go. Uh, let me turn off the bottom copy. And the good thing about this is this is all real 3D. So you can actually animate the camera if you want to you can do that okay in the same way i created this hand model for this i actually generated a depth map of a hand inside blender and when i use that i get this nice 3d pixelated model of the hand just like before you can actually animate the opacity and you can create something like a hand coming out of a screen so so many possibilities okay now let's see how to actually composite this thing into your scenes so we have a stock footage right here so first 3d track the scene so apply 3d camera tracker so once the track is done we can actually select a few points on the screen and hit create a solid and a camera there you go decrease the scale of the solid so there you go we have a tracked solid inside our scene Okay, now uh, let's import the same depth map which we used before. So hit Control Shift C, move all attributes under the new composition, and increase the scale of this to maybe like 200. Create a new solid in the background to get rid of the transparency. So now, just like before, you can actually hit the card dance effect. And make sure you select the gradient layer one to our layer and then go to the G position and change the source to intensity 1 and decrease the rows to 108 and columns to 192 just like before and change the camera system to comp camera okay and you can actually change the transfer mode to screen 
so we can see that we have our uh, 3d model inside the scene but but we need to position it right where the solid is by default after effects won't give you any controls to do that because i don't know why but you cannot actually move it for example g position even if you change offset value it moves in its own axis it won't actually stick to the camera axis so we need to find a way to actually move this guy here so in order to do that let's hide the track solid so select the layer select the points and so create a new null all right increase the null scales so that we can actually see it better all right that's looking good so position the null to the center of the screen all right so, so this null is actually the position where we want our hologram to be so we can actually rename this to hologram sorry hologram position so link the 3d camera to the hologram position open the hologram position like p and go with the default values the default values for anything will be 1920 by 1080 in this composition so go with 1920 1080 and the z position to zero there you go right away we can see that our hologram is positioned right where we want him to be so if we want to increase the size we can actually go ahead into the scale and everything will be inverse here so if you decrease the scale the hologram size will become big and if you want to move him to the right you need to move the null point left move left move right so everything will be inverse this is because we're actually not moving the hologram we're actually moving the 3d camera and that's the reason why everything will be inverse over here there you go it's looking very good and right now it's actually sitting on the screen and if you want to uh, move it actually forward you can actually go to the z position of the card dance layer and in increase the offset this actually positions him a lot more forward similarly uh, you can use the tritone effect to give it some color just like before tritone maybe give something kind of like a blue color all right so using the same principles i just discussed in the video i actually created all these compositions but with a few more composting techniques so with this i'm done